Hello, Richardson ISD. I wanted to take some time to share information about where we are regarding the pandemic and some things to think about as we head into break. As everyone likely knows, positive cases of COVID-19 in Dallas County, across Texas, and in many places in America continue to increase. Not surprisingly, according to the Texas Education Agency, positive cases associated with schools all across Texas have also been increasing. And if you keep an eye on RISD's COVID notification portal, you know that we have experienced an increase in positive cases associated with our schools. While RISD's portion within Dallas County does not have the level of case activity that some other areas of Dallas County have experienced, our cases are increasing and it's something we monitor and manage practically by the hour. As I watch the news, I see heads of hospitals speaking for their essential frontline workers, compelling the viewing audience to please take precautions in support of their nurses and physicians. So I need to speak to you, our RISD community viewing audience on behalf of our frontline workers, our teachers, bus drivers, and all staff working as essential workers to keep our schools open. To say that teachers and our staff are concerned is an understatement. You know I'm a former English teacher, so let me use some adjectives for their concern. They're troubled, they're anxious, and they are worried. So I speak for them when I ask you to consider holiday activities such as gatherings and travel. Traveling may obviously bring your family into contact with people who you don't typically see, both along the way and at your destination. Health authorities are very concerned about the impact that holidays and travel present for the virus to spread. We continue to do a great job within our schools of wearing masks and observing our other protocols and when we've seen clusters of positive cases, they've mostly been attributable to students or family activity away from school, where masks and other precautions are not always followed or enforced. So as you enter this break, on behalf of our teachers, our students, everyone's family, and those who are immunocompromised in our community, I ask everyone to please think of our educators, I know you love our RSD teachers and staff just as much as I do. Please wear a mask and avoid crowds and gatherings of people. Please don't share food or drinks and follow the common sense precautions that we all know by heart now. Our schools will reopen on November 30th and we want everyone to be safe as they re-enter. As always, if there is any suspicion that your student has been in contact with the virus or if they're showing any symptoms, please keep them home until you're certain that they are well. Let's please continue to keep the virus out of our schools. Now, I know that some are frustrated with our quarantining processes, and for now, I want to tell you that we are evaluating our protocols to ensure that they are yielding the best results that we desire, which of course are that at all times that we're keeping everyone safe and mitigating risk. So the week after the break, I will be updating you on our quarantine data, as well as what our evaluation is telling us, what steps we will take moving forward. And also, you should have received word this week about how we will be utilizing optional in-school rapid antigen screening tests for students and staff who experience symptoms while at school. More on all of that after the break. Okay, and finally, in this season of Thanksgiving, I'm thankful for our staff, and I know that you are too. What educators are doing during this pandemic isn't easy, and I'm so thankful for the continued appreciation, patience, and grace that we can all show them. I could highlight and share a story about just about every one of our employees, but to close out this video, I wanna celebrate one. Well, actually two. I received an email from a parent. Thank you, Mrs. Smith from Canyon Creek Elementary. And she wrote to me about Mr. Jimmy, whom she called the best crossing guard in RISD. Mr. Jimmy, rain or shine, rides his bike to work every day. He's there when the first student arrives and leaves after the last student gets picked up. He knows the entire parent community by first and last name. 
I recently learned that Mr. Jiminy worked the first three weeks of school when everyone was virtual, just to see families and to be with the community, to cross the street, to help them cross the street. But doing a little research about Mr. Jimmy, I found out some things that everyone might not know about him. I found out that Mr. Jimmy was originally a crossing guard substitute, and he had been trained by a true RSD hero named Norm, who had crossed children for nearly 25 years at the busy intersection near Canyon Creek Elementary. Now, when Norm passed away, the community mourned and celebrated his life in many ways, such as placing a bench with a plaque with his name on it, and adorning it with flowers, wreaths, and ribbons. When Norm unexpectedly passed away, Mr. Jimmy received a call that Norm wanted him to have his job, and he accepted it with honor. Mr. Jimmy learned a lot from Norm, such as how to dodge traffic, how to watch out for the moms on golf carts, and how to avoid dogs, like one named Lucy who once bit him on the behind. Mr. Jimmy learned how to learn all of the children's names, which he does by writing them on a reporter's notebook, which he carries in his back pocket. But if you ask Mr. Jimmy what his favorite things are that he learned from Norm, he would say, as if talking to him, Norm, you didn't tell me how nice people are in reference to the love he receives or the cookies or pumpkin bread from the moms or the coffee he might receive on a rainy day from a dad. He learned a lot from Norm. But my favorite thing that Mr. Jimmy said, again in first person, to Norm was, you didn't tell me about the sunrises, Norm. Is this the first sight that greeted you in the morning? At 7 a.m., the sun's rays, gold, orange, and red, streaming across the horizon. Was this the vision that inspired you, Norm, every morning? There's so much heart in the thousands and thousands of wonderful people who make up our community today. I am so thankful for Norm, Mr. Jimmy, and each one of you. Thank you for being a part of our Richardson ISD family. Please stay safe, healthy, and well. Happy Thanksgiving.